that this position of ours should not be construed to mean that support from the civil populace has not been availed, but rather not in the right proportion. And this is responsible for where we are today in the war against insurgency. The initiative for one Nigerian wished to state that Nigerian get overwhelmed by the Boko Haram's scorch. We would all have ourselves to blame because the opportunities to profile Nigerian solution to the Boko Haram insurgency has been availing itself to us in the way too numerous to mention. It is a function of two things. Either we take the opportunity and the insurgency or we live with the consequences of the insurgency that has already claimed hundreds of thousands of lives and displaced millions of people. The initiative for one Nigerian states that efforts of the Nigerian military has been brilliant as evidence in the virus success recorded so far. This effort can yield the ultimate result if all the sundry would elect to come together and support the Nigerian military who had them. The initiative for one Nigerian is holding this press conference as a clarion call to all citizens of our great country in absolute reverence to our national pledge to Nigeria, our country, to be faithful loyal and honest, to serve Nigeria with all our strength, to defend our unity and uphold our honor and glory. So help me God. The initiative for one Nigeria is com confident that in the coming days and weeks, there will be a rebirth in the country. We are all Nigerian, regardless of their ethnic and religious affiliations, would come together and assist in the Nigerian military in the war against insurgency. Indeed, time to end insurgency by closing all gaps and working together with the Nigerian military as they continue to push for the final decimation of the Boko Haram group. I thank you all for your patience.